Good afternoon, welcome to Manor Park Classics. It's Friday afternoon again, and as ever, we're just going to give you a quick walkabout of what cars are coming this week. It's quite a lot. As ever, Paul will give you all the details on his walkabout near the sale, and all the information is on the website at www.manorparkclassics.com. Simply give us a call if you need to know more. But anyway, here we go. Tim, yeah, the first one on the block. First of all, we've got a mix of cars actually here. We have. Uh, yeah. Fiat 500, early 70s, Fiat 500 L, so it's a Lusso or the luxury version. Nice bits of chrome on the front and rear, the chrome bumper bars here. You've got the fabric sunroof here. Um, white model tyres as well on this one, which is a nice touch. But overall, in fantastic condition, Jim. As it's good underneath as on top. It's beautiful. It's, yeah. A word that gets, or words that get spoken quite often is nuts and bolts restoration. This is. Now, the guy who owns it has gone beyond what we would do with the car. Everything has been proudly coated with B4 before it was painted, before it was back together. Even the jack and wheel brace. Wow. That's wow. quality. Yeah, yeah. And so cute as well. Oh. What a fantastic looking car. And it's a UK right hand drive car, so which is important. Okay, well, one of yours, this one, oh. I think, Jim. You like these? Things? I like these. This is CLK 430, which means it has the V8 engine. Very, very rare. This one's in quartz blue, and I have to say, I've had quite a few of these in my time. This is one of the best ones I've seen. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's grey leather, wind deflector. It's fabulous. The chap who owns it is a member of Mercedes Owens Club, real nice gentleman. Um, hi, John, good afternoon. But this car is beautiful. Yeah. Next one. Next one. Okay. Uh, Tan of grey. Mm. Tiki Alcamera. Yes. Very, very, well, great sounding car. And a great well, again, this has had a full restoration. The gentleman who owns this is a TVR aficionado, and he races them. Not this one, by the way. But he has rebuilt this car since 2016. Everything, I mean everything, is perfect on this car. The interior is to die for, but it's original factory specifications. Again, come have a look at this. Super, that one. You know, I've already knew this, too. Yeah, well, I'm happy with that. They must admit, and um, there's nothing particularly like about it, is... The rack on top, and I think it as well. So I think it's got with it, 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 it's going for a bit of a cow look, I think. It's been slight below, where you've got the extra large wheels on the back there. Um, and I just think it's a great looking car, and that won't be a huge amount of money, will it, Jim? Somewhere between five and six grand, I think. Absolutely, yeah. a great good, good starter car. Good we'll starter start car, about absolutely. Cars, that is one of them, absolutely, yeah, right. So, down here to the corner, corner. Yeah. we've got a very nice 280SL mirror. Yes, this car has come to some gentlemen from the Isle of Man, where it's lived most of its later life. It's a 280SL, as Tim says. What makes this very unusual is it's manual. Really? Oh, mm. Wow. Great colour, beige interior, hard yeah. top, but the car, again, is fantastic. To be fair, yeah. we've been very blessed with the cars that come in this week. Mm. They are beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is stunning lovely lovely color that so moving along yeah now this caught my eye as soon as it arrived i'm so used to seeing these mark II lotus cortinas in white with the green stripe yes but red gold stripe yes what's the story you know? well for, um, for those who know you will know there used to be a very famous racing team called alan and racing these were the colors used to race cortinas and sort of things and his cars were red with the gold stripe which is what this is. This car has been breathed on by BRM to back on the engine. The car was built, um, and we need to check the paper to be sure, but allegedly built for a driver called Mike Spence, and unfortunately got killed in a very bad car crash in Indianapolis when he was racing. But this car is, is interconnected with Mike Spence. But again, nut and bolt, fantastic, beautiful. As Tim said before, it's as good underneath as it is on the, on the top. And the interior, again, true to original factory it's specification. Lovely. It's, lovely it's beautiful. And you've got deep dish, deep dish steels as well, by the looks of it. It is, it's, it's deep dish. It's a great trip. Yeah, that's great. Fantastic. As does this. I mean, talk about the Fiat 500 being cute. I think this is almost, if not more cute. Yes. Yeah, Alfa Romeo Giulietta. Giulietta yeah. Spider. Yeah. 1960, this car. Right. Again. Okay. Um, <laughs> Where's the um, yeah. I have never seen a car that's been restored to this standard. It's 
to die for. It's beautiful, isn't it? I, I, there's not much more I can say. No, it's lovely. I mean, the interior is beautiful. The wood ring steering wheel, um, 84,000 miles. But well, you'd never tell, would you? You'd never I tell. Mean, it's almost like a brand new car. Well, I don't think it is, because the mileage has been rebuilt. The gear, everything. Yeah. This car, uh, it comes with a host of photographs. Pascal's this, by the way, which I'm happy to show you. Um, I think the gentleman's given us an excess of 500 photographs of seeing these two cars. Happy to show you them, it's just amazing. Yeah, amazing. That's a great looking car. Has Guy done that one, Jim? This is going to be somewhere around a reserve of between 80 and 85 thousand pounds. But when you look at the market and what the market is suggesting, it's worth every penny in the world. Yeah. But come and see it. Yeah. There is, I, I would go as far as to say there isn't a better one, not the UK, maybe Europe, maybe the world, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But this is. It's lovely. It's lovely. Yeah. And then also a big slide on the monitor. <laughs> Ford V8 pilot. Yeah. Um, I don't know a huge amount about these, Jim, but uh, well, what, what can you tell us? I, well, yeah, there's the V8 engine. Uh, we need George here. George is our expert on these yeah. cars. But this is beautiful. Again, it needs a little bit of fettling here and there. Of course, it's a very, very nice car. The gentleman who owns it is very proud of it. But Situation change there for sale, but great colour combination. Yeah, it's nice, it is. It, it stands is. out. It, it stands out. great. Well, I heard the reversion of the of the truck. Oh, it does. It's, uh, it sounds back to the level, isn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, there's something that's a little bit unusual uh, Toyota Corolla two door rally car, early 70s. It's been breathed on, obviously, it looks the part. It does. Um, and the other point as well, it's actually on our RAM. So if as a side issue, if you want to come and have a look at any of our cars and you want to have a look underneath them, we'll put them on the ramp for you, lift it up, and so you can have a look underneath. But this one looks pretty nice underneath as well. It is, and I think, yeah. um, like you say, it's just because we don't know that much about it, but mm -hmm. I think it's true to form as it should be. I'm looking at the inside of it, it's completely and utterly rally spent. Yeah. Five point roll cage, all the things you'd expect, full harnesses, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Needs to be seen this car, fantastic. Yeah. And yeah. it's road legal. Right. Now then, let's go to this. This is definitely good for you. Well, you talk, you talk about minis, the Fiat 500, you talk about Morris Miners. Here's another classic car, a classic, classic car. Um, 2CV Citroen, plums and custard, is it, or a dolly? Yeah, this is a dolly. dolly. It's a dolly. This is a dolly. Yeah. Um, blue over cream, blue cream over blue. blue. Nice roof there, and good name. Perfect roof. Nice car. Uh, Super, and they're doing good money at the moment. I'm just going to say, they're getting very collectible now because yeah. there aren't many of them left. Yeah, yeah. And this is a nice example, and a lot of fun as well. Yeah, Every, everywhere you go, in this, not the fastest thing in the world, but you'll have a smile on your face, won't you? You don't want to go fast in a classic car. <laughs> now, we mentioned George before. George also likes the singers. He does. So this one's a Singer Le Mans. Singer Le Mans, yes. Long tail, is it? Long tail, yeah. I think it's 19, could be wrong, 1934, but check on the website. That will confirm it. But again, you need George for this. George knows these cars inside out because he's got one from yeah. 1945. And this is beautiful. Lashings of chrome there, and paintwork's nice on it as well. It is, and it's unusual being red. It's not something you'd think yeah. we would. But well, there you go. Nice yeah. bright red singer. Super. Lovely. Next car. Yeah, something a bit more modern. So it's an SLK. I think it's also 280. The 280, yeah. Automatic. I think it's only done 32,000 miles. Oh, wow. Beautiful history. Um, the gentleman who gave us this car, he's only given us this car because he's actually retired, sold his business, and was about to go around Europe, maybe the world, he says, at the motorhome. Not jealous, honest. But anyway, <laughs> this as you do, as you do, <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah, good thing, isn't it? Good it's thing. fabulous. Good it's fabulous. How is this now? Again, that one is sixties Fords, but the Lotus is called here and there. This one, sixteen hundred E Mark II. I mean, these were like the pinnacle, oh, were they? in the late sixties, early seventies. These were the the go to car yeah. um, for for the family man. Um, Ford really, really they had it right. Didn't they had it right. Uh, the unusual thing about this one is most of them, if not all of them I've seen before, have all had vinyl reefs. But it this one has a rare it. option. Yeah, it hasn't. Right. And the colour, again, yeah, it's believed brilliant. to be an original colour. Yeah. Again, the quality of this car is unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Great, it? Fantastic restoration. 
you know, all well, credit to the people who did this. I think how much has been spent on the car seat because that is a... Nowhere near the cell phone. The paintwork alone is great. It's a super lucky bar. I'm really, really I mean, you could, you could pour 40, 40, 50, oh. 50, pounds into these. Absolutely. And you're never going to see it back. That yeah. doesn't matter. That's great for the person who buys it. Yeah. But the person who did it does it for the love, not for the money, yeah. as we know. Absolutely. Great. Now then. Yeah, I'm sure you know the It's hard to believe it. This is 1917. It's a four-bottle tea. 1917. It must be a mind of the Bentley Hillbillies a little bit. Because um, I'm sure they had one as well. But uh, Laurel and Harvey. Laurel and Harvey. Harvey. This thing's over 100 years old and it's still here. It should in, still this be, in this condition. It should still be here, should it? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. I had it uh, running yesterday and it sounds sweet as a nut. Um, unbelievable, really, but uh, yeah, a nice bit of um, uh, early 20th century motoring there for you. In good nature, it's well, good condition. This is the car that started the motoring revolution in, in, in the world. Of this course. is just. Yeah, yeah, in the requisite black as well. Yes, well, weren't they all? Well, maybe. Talk about black, I've got this one. There you are, you see that right there? There you go. You should be a DJ. <laughs> A great segue. Uh, it was, wasn't it? No, now, they didn't sell is... these for long, did they? No. XR threes, non injection, non injection, non injection. That's important. So this one's an eighty two on an X. Mm. The thing I like about this, and I like my original cars, this one was completely unmolested. So many of these got max powered, yes, more, maybe early max powered out. Yes, different alloys, uh, speakers on the back parts of the shells, different seats. And this one looks completely stock. I think the only thing that may have been changed is it's had a sunroof to it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. again, back in the 80s, that was the thing to do anyway. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, okay, it's not been done by the factory, yeah. but it's a period extra that oh, was done. Sunroof, yeah, yeah, that was done to yeah, the yeah. Yards. So, yeah. perfectly acceptable. And that one's 85,000. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, 14 years old now, is it? So that'll be tax exempt. MOT exempt as well, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look again, completely stock standard, it'll appear. It's great. Like that. I do. Super. Yes. Uh, another Ford, another fast forward. The Electron 4i. Yes. With, with, by the looks of it, a bit of a Cosworth esque front grille there going it on. Has. There, it has. It's got yeah. another set of wheels with it as well. I believe the wheels that are on it aren't the standard wheels. No. The standard wheels are in the cupboard. So the pepper pots come with Yes, they do. Okay. So yeah, it does yeah. come with the correct wheels. Pulse. Yeah. Great in white. Yeah, yeah, and it's been colour coded as well because I'm pretty sure that from factory, the these in grey. No, they weren't. They were white. They were white. They were white. Yeah, okay. So that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's a good name. That's nice. And we've got this little Mark 1 Escort 2 drum as well with the police livery. Great, isn't it? You've got the box on top. Yes. Yes, and this has been in a few TV programmes, I'm led to believe. Right. So okay. it's, but again, it's, you know, if you're of a certain age and did yeah. certain things as a youngster, you probably had the joy of being sat in the back of one of these yeah. ones. I'm sure I did once or twice. Absolutely. But this is completely yeah. police colours. Yeah, uh, nice. But what's nice about it, it's got the deep dish wheels on it. Deep dish wheels, yeah, yeah. yeah. A bit of a look yeah, about yeah. it. Needs a bit of feathering, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, Needs a bit of love. Getting that, but see. It's quite fun. nicely that actually. It is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's what? That's late 60s, I guess? Uh, let's have a look. Oh, please. That, yeah. Oh, no, early 70s. Yeah, 72, yeah. 73. So. 73, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. cool. Fun car. So a little door, two door saloon. Four door saloon here. Four door, yes. I do like a miner. I do like a moggy miner. So this one's an early 60s, I think, 62. I think it is 62. 62 yes. in the old English white with the red stripe, the red leather interior. I mean, it's just great, isn't it? It's beautiful. Great starter classic for somebody, that one. And it comes with a history file, which is it's amazing. It goes right back to the very beginning. Uh, histories, invoices, first owner, where it was serviced, how much it cost. It's unbelievable. Wow. Um, wow. Heritage certificate, which states that the car was, uh, I think they call it Rose Talk, which is a light grey colour. And it was painted white. I think it was restored around about 2011 or thereabouts. But again, there's lots of invoices from 62 onwards and lots of invoices all the way through to the latter day. Um, it's the interior, I have to say, is stunning on this. Yeah. 
And it is a deluxe model, which the deluxe model has the heater. Can't guarantee it's going to keep you warm on those frosty mornings, but <laughs> nevertheless, it has it. So that, you see. Yeah, it's great. You've got some little auxiliary dials there as well. It for has, you. yeah, the wheel. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? I like that. Functioning, yes. Five to six grand, something like that. Yeah, reckon, yeah. 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 And like you know, the, the vendor drove it to us yeah. uh, on Thursday, sorry, Wednesday. Yeah. Um, uh, this might sound like you don't believe but he's generally a vicar who owns this car, so there you go. Okay. Perfect car. Super, super. So I'm guessing that's this hall That's done. this hall. We've got some more new entrance next door. Uh -huh. Shall we go and have a look? Yes. Cool. Let's do that. Next entry, we've got these lovely Danes. Um, I'll say. Yeah. Rarer than Jags, of course. So yes. it's the Danes Sovereign. This is the 2.8 six-cylinder automatic. Nice. In this lovely navy blue. Yeah, of course. It's great. Yeah, yeah. It's great paintwork. It's great paintwork. Well. The chrome one. It's the left and right inside as well. Authenticated man on this one, and it's got an nice Really? Yeah, so that is a nice car, that. Um, as is this one. So this is the, the precursor, if you like, to, to the uh, Sovereign there. This is the Daimler V8 250. Um, Two and a half litre V8 engine. I believe they call, they call this colour Golden Sand. I've seen a few type jacks in this colour, which is fantastic. With the red leather interior, on the wires. The chrome's great, the paint works really, really nice. Oh, these have that. been seen, yeah, and these have been seen as a bit of a poor relation to a Mark II Jack. And consequently, vans have kind of a little bit been pegged below the Mark II Jacks, but they are overcoming, um, and they're rarer. Well, as we know, if, if something becomes too expensive, yeah. the next thing starts to go, so yeah. probably a great time to buy one. I think so, so yeah. Before point. you get too expensive. Yeah. Good point. And there's something lurking at the back there, so we should go and have a look at that. Yes. Now then, this beast eats in, and you said lurking at the back. Yes. It's a that. It is uh, indeed, yes. This is a multiple show winner. It's been in ownership for 33-ish years, I guess, something like that. It's had oodles of money being poured into it. But it's as good as they ever get. T-bar roof. Mm. Nice number plates as well, that goes with it, which says that. Um, it's just beautiful. Yeah. As Corvettes go, this has to be one of the best out there, so well yeah. worth a look. This car sounds amazing. Oh. The whole building shakes, doesn't it, when you start to pop? It's, <laughs> it's, it's as a guy said to me the other day, it sounds like a Genesis concert <laughs> when you <laughs> throw this up. Very good, yes, it does indeed, it does. Um, Subaru Impreza Turbo, two litre. Um, again, in fantastic original condition, which is why I love this car so much. The paint works great on it. There's no marks, no significant marks on this paper whatsoever. These things do rot, especially around the rear arch. They do. But this is this super, super condition. Interior is like new. Um, I'm really impressed by that car. It's series one, I believe. Yes. Um, with a slight face at the front of the board. Um, I can't remember the last, the last time I saw one, it's so original and so nice, isn't it? I don't recall seeing one in red. That, that's that's the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Silver, black, occasionally white, and then, I do like red, yeah, so that's another thing. But <laughs> it's personal. But no, it's just, yeah. these are the all, as you said, they're all made to look like the rest of the and yeah, absolutely. You know, this is, absolutely. Just stock, isn't it? Very good, yeah. very good car to buy. Yeah. And here we go. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's been, a, it's been a few years since I've last seen one of these as well. well. I bet you've never seen one as nice as that. That's very nice. Uh, Fiat X19, of course. Um, that's the 1500 version yeah. with the Isles. That's it. Uh, I think these cars are going to be big well. Yeah. I think it's be Yeah. I do know that this car has just come out of a private collection, literally. Came about half an hour ago, and it has gone to a private collection. The gentleman who owns it was very much into his Italian cars. Mm. He bought this, and his intention was to restore it. I don't know why, because <laughs> it, really it does it needs restoring. Yeah. It's absolutely yeah, it's terrible. Very good to Everything, it. the wheels like It's really fantastic. There's nothing to restore, but anyway. How does everyone run that interior? That oh, is great. Amazing, isn't it? So that's a 79. 79. 
Okay, yeah. Yeah, so just and before then, the best decade, nevertheless. Out of that tree, tree, tree. And then something completely different. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the screw Old Scorpio 2 litre 24 valve Hosworth engine. Okay, right, okay, that's the full leather. I think that's what it says. By the looks of it. Full leather. Uh, All the toys. Also gearbox. Just come in, so we don't know a huge amount about it, but what we can say to you, again, that is in great niche. Amazing. Yeah. Under 50,000 miles as well. Yes, it is. It is. And that's what, as I've said earlier on, we, we've been very, very, very blessed at this time by a, the number of cars and the quality. It's just brilliant. And we're very nice. pleased. So thank you for that. I have to appreciate it. That's it, that's a nice, that's a nice car. And, here we go. It's a similar vein, really, you know, it's not, well, yes, it is a saloon, but it's a family saloon. It was arrived into this, but right. it's in the same segment, isn't it? Same segment, absolutely. Um, low miles, low owners with this, and that's what I do. Yeah. Um, looks very straight. Um, again, incredibly rare. You just I, don't see me. I love them. <laughs> I, I just love working French cars, I and mean, this is just that. Yeah. It's no no one else other than Citroen would have built this car. It's brilliant. I love it in every way: the shape, the interior, the dashboard, the switches, everything. Yeah, fantastic. And yeah. it has the famous French suspension. Yes, which works. Let's see what that gets So that's what we're going to do now. Ninety-four, ninety-five, and this is yeah. what ninety-seven, ninety-eight. Yeah. So they were yeah. probably yeah, you know, yeah, around about the same time. Yeah, around the same time. Yeah, yeah. Um, probably a similar price now at the same time. Yeah. You know, who knows? Yeah. Probably a similar price now as well. But yeah. that's what we've got in this so week. Far. Yeah, so um, yeah, yeah. There's more coming yeah. later on. on its way. There's more coming next week. Um, these are all coming for our sale on the 25th of May. So come and look at the cars. You are more than welcome. I know we have our viewing days on the Wednesday, Thursday, mm -hmm. and Friday. But mm -hmm. do you know what? If you want to come and see something in between, mm -hmm. please do. Just give us a little call. You're more than welcome. We'll pop the kettle on. Come and have a look. Yeah. Okay, and that's all we're happy to do. For all more details, go on our website, which is manaparkclassics.com. www.manaparkclassics.com. Well, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the, yeah, fair anyway. <laughs> so, there we are. Or so, oh, give us a ring in the office, of course. Oh, yeah, we like, yeah, yeah, we, we, we we like, like talking to we, people. We, we like a chat, don't we? We like a chat. So, do that, and we're happy to do what you want to do. Thank you very much. <laughs>